Good day everyone! I am Mrs. Chona, your Mathematics 8 teacher for today. Before we proceed, do not forget to like, share, and hit the su subscribe button and notification bell for updates about our latest videos. For today's lesson, this is our most essential learning competencies that we are going to discuss today. First, determines the relationship between the hypothesis and the conclusion of an if-then statement. And second, transforms the statement into an equivalent if-then statement. So what is if-then statement in mathematics? So the if-then statement is composed of two classes, the if clause and the then clause. The statement is in the form if p, then q. The p statement is what we call the hypothesis, and the q statement is what we call the conclusion. A simple flow of reasoning from if clause to the then clause is called simple implication. The if-then statement is composed of two parts, the hypothesis and the conclusion. So let's go back to our example earlier. If a number is even, then it is divisible by 2. So the part of hypothesis is a number is even. And the conclusion part is it is divisible by 2. So let's have more examples. So, let's say the given statement is vertical angles are congruent. So, how are we going to determine what part of the sentence is the hypothesis and what part of the sentence is the conclusion? So, first we have to identify what is the subject of the statement and the predicate. So, we, we notice that in the given statement, we are talking about vertical angles being congruent. So, that means the hypothesis will be, if the angles are vertical, then they are congruent. So, the conclusion will be what is being described by the subject. So, the hypothesis, the angles are vertical, and the conclusion, they are congruent. It's easy, right? Let's have another example. So for the next statement, a square has four equal sides. So in this statement, the subject is about a square having four equal sides. Therefore, if we are going to rewrite it into if-then statements, that will be if an object is a square, then it has four equal equal side. So, what would be the hypothesis and the conclusion? So, in this example, the hypothesis is an object is a square and the conclusion is it has four equal sides. Let's have another example. So, for this example, the statement given is angles in a linear pair are supplementary. So, in this statement, we are talking about angles in linear pair, which are supplementary. So, if we are going to rewrite that into if-then statement, that would be, if the angles are in linear pair, then they are supplementary. So, what would be the hypothesis and the conclusion? Okay, hypothesis is the angles are in linear pair, and the conclusion, they are supplementary. That's easy. Let's have more examples. For this next example, the statement is, Staying at home keeps us healthy and safe. So the statement is talking about staying at home, which keeps us healthy and safe. So to transform it into if-then statement, that would be, if you stay at home, then you are healthy and safe. So what would be the hypothesis and the conclusion? So hypothesis, you stay at home. And the conclusion, you are healthy and safe. Our 
our last example, the statement is, Washing hands helps us avoid having a virus. So transform it into if-then statement. And that would be, If you wash your hands, then you might avoid having virus. So what is the hypothesis and the conclusion? The hypothesis would be, you wash your hands. And the conclusion, you might avoid having virus. So I hope you are all having fun. So let's have a practice exercise. So for our, our practice exercises, what you need to do is to transform the following statement into if-then statements. So these are the statements. Number one, the Department of Health volunteers are busy during pandemic. Number two, an 18-year-old Filipino can cast his vote during election. Number three, all right angles are congruent. And number four, parallel lines do not intersect. So, if you have your paper and pen with you, try it at home. So, let's see if you got it right. So, let's have the practice exercises. So, for number one given, the statement is, the Department of Health volunteers are busy during pandemic. So, if you will notice, the statement talks about the DOH volunteers with who are busy during pandemic. So, what would be the if-then statement for this? Okay, if you are a DOH volunteer, then you are busy during pandemic. That's correct. Okay, let's have the next exercise. An 18-year-old Filipino can cast his vote during election. And what it talks about? It talks about 18-year-old Filipino who can cast his vote during election. So what would be the if-then statement for this? Okay, if you are an 18-year-old Filipino, then you can cast your vote during election. That's correct. Let's have our third exercise. The statement is, all right angles are congruent. And it talks about all right angles being congruent. So what would be the if-then statement for this? That's right. If the angles are right angles, then they are congruent. You got it correct. And for our last given exercise, parallel lines do not intersect. So it talks about parallel lines that do not intersect. So what would be the if-then statement for this? Okay, the if-then statement would be, if the line are parallel, then they do not intersect. I hope you have learned something from me today. So thank you everyone and keep on watching our videos.